Hello, 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 hello. So we got a new dev diary for Broken Arrow. It's number nine. It's the US Air Spec. So before we get into it, please give me a subscribe and also like the video as well so it gets out there. Any comments as well, you know, your thoughts, that would be perfect. Also, there is a ways in the description where you can support the channel as well. It'd be much appreciated. So let's uh, get into it, Zvi. Yes, uh, last week, we reviewed the evolution of already revealed army specifications. It's time to present something brand new, the airborne specialization. So there is, this is one of the new ones. So this is the, a new, uh, new airborne specialization, which is pretty nice. Look at that. That's a nice picture, isn't it? Very, very nice. All right. The specialization is fully based on mobility at the price of resilience. Um, what you will airborne infantry, light tanks, and support from cargo planes, or lift them with helicopters, or simply use the fast road speed of your vehicles to always beat your opponents at the punch or to the punch. Bending your small but heavily fitted um, fire support teams, you uh, will force enemy over invest to deal with them, costing them precious time and resources. Yes. Let's review the units of each category in detail. So we got the recon. Yes, this is a uh, no, typical Humvees for, and uh, they do have tow missiles. So I'm guessing you can change them out when you're in the game, which would be pretty cool. Uh, so we've got the Humvee, a uh, remote weapon station. Um, this is a good uh, detection range thanks to the optics and trans tele operated turret that can be armed with a minigun, an M2 heavy machine gun, or an automatic grenade launcher. Very nice. Um, it can be graded with the B kit armor package. To resist small arms fire, it can be upgraded with a B-Kit armor package to resist small arm fire and a smoke grenade to secure your retreat if you bump into the enemy armored column. Oh, very good, very good. Uh, the, uh, the Humvee LRAS-3 is a mobile laser designated platform with excellent optics and mobility. It is armed with an M240 medium machine gun by default, but has a cross to the M2 and MK19, as well as smoke and armor upgrade as the beak and smoke. So you can upgrade them. Uh, that's nice. Uh, pretty sure you could do that in the B2 anyway. But uh, there we go. And also now we've got the snipers. Look at that. That's cool. I really, really like that. Nice, nice thumbnails. <laughs> Um, Army Snipers comes with a group of three very good optics and exponential stealth equipped with a laser des designator. Oh, okay, so you can designate uh, airstrikes now. That's pretty cool. Uh, the main shooter can be equipped with a silence M20 or the M107 anti-material. So it's just a, it's a sniper rifle, basically. Um, the second man is equipped with an M110 marksman rifle the third man provides the security with an m4a1 and a grenade launcher well with a grenade launcher sniper rifles ignore building cover that makes no sense i don't get uh, uh, like i okay demar and have a long range but you can be used either to infiltrate enemy lines or fire support in urban combat um, just make sure to use them at maximum range as they uh, won't survive for long under enemy fire i don't understand this part like how do they ignore building cover i don't get that Please somebody tell me in the comments. That'd be much appreciated. I, I don't get that. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, so, oh, the drones. Oh, that's it. The Americans have drones now. Look at that. Nice, 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 nice. Um, the, M the MQ-1C Great Eagle. This is an evolution of the famous Predator drone. This high-flying drone remains slow, but can carry a larger panel of weapons compared to its predecessor, with four pylon instead of two. Each, ca each carrying either one Hellfire or two smaller Griffin missiles with explosive uh, fragmentation warhead to engage infantry and vehicles from the top to the single... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they can fire, uh, like, a lot like, better. Yeah, a lot better. So they have missiles now. That's good. That's going to be better. So, so the Global Hawk, a much larger drone, especially long-range optics, a bit, uh, able to spot enemy units without entering the range of most surface-to-air missiles. Ooh. This powerful asset remains extremely vulnerable as it carries no countermeasures at all. So expect the enemy to send fighters to deal with it. Okay, okay, okay. So these you have to have mostly, you know, vehicles, um, uh, jets to take them out. Uh, other than, uh, you know, uh, and uh, anti-air missiles. So we'll go on to the infantry, the airborne. Yes, they are the backbone of the, the uh, of this uh, specification. Yes, they are. This is an eight-man squad equipped with the brand new M7 Spear rifles and the M2. Uh, five oh machine guns oh zero 
Um, these weapons using the new 6.8 caliber have even more range and armor pen uh, penetration than the usual infantry division. Okay, so they're pretty OP. I think I'm definitely going to be giving these guys a go. Uh, they can also load two, uh, carry two grenade launchers and an AT4 rocket launcher. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's a nice picture. Nice. Nice. And then we got this. So, squad weapons. An eight-man team script with a 2L, um, M240L and 0L. Medium machine guns and two javelin anti-tank missile launch. Oh, okay, so they have javelins as well. <gasps> These squads complement the airborne squads by providing overwatch and fire support. Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. I hope this one isn't a long one. It feels like it's a long one. <laughs> um, and M2 Brown and machine gun teams. So basically the same as the B2 as well. Uh, yeah, pretty much the same. So you get the, you can get those in the B, in the B, last B. You'll get it in the beta coming up as well. So that's not too bad. And then we got the so we got oh we got the grenade launcher team okay the MK uh, MK19 team equivalent to the Browning team with an MK19 automatic grenade launcher. They are more effective against ground targets but cannot engage helicopters. Yeah, we, well I guess you can get a lucky shot. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture though. Ah, it's good artwork in this. I must admit. Tow teams another four man team has been equipped with a tow anti tank missile guided launcher. This weapon has a long range, high armor penetration, and high damage that can be upgraded to the two uh, to, to B, which detonate above the target and project two explosive forms penetrators through the roof of making any fermental armor useless. These missiles are the ultimate weapon against tanks. Yes, you get these in Warno as well. They're pretty damn good if they hit when they hit. <laughs> the usual Stinger team. This is a Stinger team, a uh, team of four serving for, uh, two long range anti anti-aircraft uh, missile launchers stingers have a short range so they won't be able to uh, they won't be able to engage here unless the unless approached very closely but they can fire from a concealment of a forest or a building to ambush helicopters quite effectively yes uh pretty much the same as beer looks like they're not changing that mechanic in the woods so you're you know i i, I didn't expect that to be honest but uh so when you're in the woods you know they just uh, it has perfect line of sight to the air and uh that makes sense that doesn't but it does in my box, it does. <laughs> so, combat vehicles and ground transport. So, we've got the Humvee, the main transport for the carrying uh, a four man fire team. Um, or the newest. Oh, hello. That's new. Ah, the M1301 ISV. Oh, the ISV. Yes, yeah, like a Humvee. Uh, the newest IRV, which can carry a two, uh, two fire teams or a full eight man squad. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six seats. Okay, so we can carry eight to eight man squad. Uh, I'm guessing they sit on the bonnet, or this, you know, probably sit on the bonnet. Um, equipped with a, a machine gun, a heavy, uh, yeah, MK grenade launch. So pretty much the same as a heavy team, uh, an infantry team. So let's keep going down. No, no, no. They can, uh, they can be sent back to base to get a refund after dropping the infantry. Yeah, set forward to harass the enemy or kept around the actors, uh, additional fire support team, uh, uh, and reposition your fighting team. Yeah, 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 if needed. So you can, yeah, yeah. So you can bring them in. You can have some fun with them. See what you can shoot if you can't shoot anything. Boy, you get destroyed pretty easy. What you one shot? But uh, it is. So it's, it's, uh, this video can be upgraded as well with the extra. Oh, that's the that's that. So this can't be upgraded by looks of things. No. Okay. So the to well, we've already gone through this, so we don't need to go through this again. They've already mentioned this, so let's keep going down a bit more. So we've got the tanks now. The little beautiful. Look at that. That's a nice tank. Look at that. Oh, the artwork is beautiful. Fair play, they did a good job of that. Uh, the MA AGS Thunderbolt. This airport draw or drop or light tank can be equipped with an automated fast firing 105mm gun or upgraded to a 120mm gun as powerful as the most modern Abram tanks. Oh, okay, okay, it's just lighter armor, I'm guessing. Oh, the armor can be upgraded, don't matter. Um, with additional cinematic plates or active protection system. So, no trophy system on this one. Uh, the heaviest version adds explosive reactive armor, but removes the ability to be airdropped. Okay, okay. So that was in the last, uh, the last dive dev diary, basically. I can also the M five one uh, five five one Sheridan. This is another another light tank. This time it's a large but short three five two millimeter gun. Most of useful against light uh, infantry and light tanks. So it's possible to add anti tank missiles, which is nice. It is interesting uh, to note that this tank. It's light enough to be airlifted on one of those bigger, uh, big aircrafts. Uh, that the King Stallion, very nice. So it's what we got in support. Ah, oh, we got the Avengers. Nice, they're good there. Very good. Always recommend using these. Um, just because broken arrow, they would really be good. Uh, one of the strengths of the airborne specialization is the ability to drop or lift support, 
vehicles alongside the infantry to defend the landing zone. Yes, to the Avenger. This anti-aircraft unit is using the chassis of a Humvee to carry a turret containing four or eight Stinger missiles. Nice. It's, uh, it's lightweight, makes air droppable and air liftable by the shirt. Oh, by the Black Hawks. Nice. Like all the Humvees, it's possible to upgrade it with additional armor, and um, but it loses the ability to airdrop. Okay, so you can't uh, put, you can't add armor onto it. So what's this? This is like a, a mortar system or a small cannon. That's pretty cool. I like that as well. So the Hawkeye. The chassis Humvee again, but this time it's carrying 105mm uh, howitzer. You can select the loadout between high explosive for cluster or a rocket projector uh, assisted projectile for more range. Okay, oh, so you can have that. It's like a, yeah, a backline missile launcher. That's cool. So we've got some vehicles here. Obviously, they we all know what these are. They don't really need to go through here. We know what that is. It's just um, troop transports or resource transports. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Right, and then we got this. That's one big cannon. Very nice. The Butters. Butters. <laughs> um, this is the MTV chassis stripped down from every possible extra weight to make it portable and equipped with a 155mm howitzer bolted to it. Nice. This Mad Max style artillery truck offers medium range support to its airborne specialization with high explosive and cluster sh uh, rounds. Oh, that's going to be nice. It's very, very mobile. Got it. It's on one of those chassis. All right, what's this? Ah, an anti-air system. Nice, nice, nice. Another MTV chassis. Um, this time with the anti-air mounted to it. Choose between. Oh, okay. You can have radar missiles. It's interception missiles and engage hello. Okay, so uh, missiles to uh, take down helicopters. Very good. That's very nice. All right. It's good to helicopters. All right, the Black Hawk. We all know what a Black Hawk is. So there's no point me going through that. Um, the door has two gunners, and machine guns has a mini, all oh, mini guns, or fast fire, uh, fast fire and heavy machine guns. Yeah, we all know what that is. Troop transport or support unit, one or the other. So we got the Apaches, two different Apaches. So this is the this is the usual usual Apache, the AH64 Apache, the famous tech holiday in the US. So this is the most basic version. Um, st uh, sturdy and well armed. It is equipped with a thirty millimeter cannon and four missiles, and carrying able to carry seventy millimeter rockets or guided rockets, Hellfire missiles, the edge attacks, and that. Yeah, typical. And then we got the the longbow. It's a smaller ver uh, version, similar to the Apache, but with a radar. Why doesn't the Apache have a radar? <laughs> okay. Um, they all have radars. Everything has radars. That makes no sense. Um, it means the helicopter can lose line of sight with the target or be destroyed after the launch of the missile. It, it, is, it will still find its target. All right, so we have jets to so the F-15 Sea Eagle. This is a dedicated air support superior fighter, which can carry eight missiles with a possibility of choosing between nine short range infrared missiles. AIM-7 multi-active radar guided or AIM-120 ARAMs with more range and autonomous thermal guidance. Contrary to the most planes, the emplacement for external fuel tanks is independent from the missiles in place, allowing it to be freely increased, ultimately, ultimately reducing the payload. Okay, so it's basically the same from the beta again. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Oh, that's a very nice plane. Very good. Um, the F-15C Eagle, still set up version of the FC, yep, it's pretty much the same, meaning. It's not really that much different, um, but the plane remains to carry four air-to-air -air missiles, but it's mostly dedicated to a ground attack with the impressive payout of seven 2,000-pound bombs or 18 cluster bombs. Nice. It will also be equipped with a laser-designated pod to guide us to smart bombs. Oh, yeah, smart bombs as well. Very nice. All right, the Eagle 2. Very nice. The newest version of the plane regroups the capabilities of the C and E versions in a single motorized plane it can do it, do basically anything twice. Oh, okay. Um, for the carrying up to 14,000 pounds of bombs, in addition to the eight, oh, in addition to eight air to air missiles. Nice. You can use it to launch cruise missiles. Oh, oh, nice. And carry an AGM 88 anti radiation missiles or pile up missiles over, miss over missiles on every pylon until you reach the ultimate. So these can carry up to 20 missiles and also a, a bunch of 14,000 pounds worth of bombs. Okay, that's pretty mental. All right. Well, we all know this is. Everyone used it in the beta to win matches in like five minutes. So uh, we all know what that is. I don't need to really go through that. You can just 
you know, it's a transport plane. And Hercules, oh, would this be like an AC-130? Oh, oh, let's see. Um, the Hercules, a smaller, slower propellant plane, less payload, but has the advantages of air dropping from low altitude, which grants highest but a, a survivability against ground-based air defenses, but makes them more vulnerable to yeah, air, uh, fight to interception. The G30 version is a bit larger with the KC-130 of the Marines, allowing it to transport a few extra tons of equipment. Okay, so you can drop... You can drop, So with these, you can drop supply. That's pretty nice. You can drop supply from, hopefully from the Hercules as well. Uh, yeah, nice. Oh, then we've got the big, big bomber. Big boy bomber. Where the B-1B has passed, the grass will never grow again. The CG Palmer can drop an oppressive quality of bombs of various types. 84 snack eye and I can't say that. Um bombs and 30 or 30 cluster bombs dropping from a low altitude. 24,000 uh, 20, 24 2000 pound bombs. Two missiles, 12 third uh, cluster bombs. And loads and loads of other bloody bombs. Oh, and finally a B61 nuclear bomb. Ah, that can drop the nuclear bomb. And um, everyone's gonna have that in their deck. <laughs> oh, it looks like we've reached the end already. Oh, that was fast. Right, so that's it. That's cool. Um, on its own, the airbus uh, specification offers everything you need to gain air superiority. Airdrop tubes and vehicles on a key position off the battlefield and establish layers of defense around it. Yet, yeah. you can also use your multiple Humvees to create high mobilized hordes rushing through undefended approaches, for, uh, forcing the enemy to overspend the with all these light vehicles wreaking havoc in their back lines. Very nice. But in a broken arrow specialization always works in pairs. So yeah. So combining it with the arm um, armored spec allowing you to gain time with the airborne while heavy tanks or artillery are on the way to catch your enemy's pants down in the middle of the assault or entrenched power troopers. And combining it with the Marines allows you to optimize or maximize the amount of planes and helicopters you can bring to have a, a rapid answer to every situation. You can also airdrop even more support vehicles. As the Lav 25 family of vehicles is an air droppable, so the Lavs are going to be droppable as well. Very good. Uh, getting air superiority is very important. A team which is not contested, the airspace almost almost prepared to live under the bombs and consistent enemy airdrops. Yes. The best moment to perform an airdrop is at the beginning of the battle, yep, before the or a thick surface to air missile defense is established. Yes. But your opponent knows that too. So this is also the moment where you can have a high chance to meet enemy fighters as your transport planes have zero chance of reaching the airdrop alive if there's enemy fighters in the sky. Yeah, very true. Happened a lot in the beta. So if both teams ha teams try to aggressively gain air superiority to perform airdrops at the beginning of the match, you can also consist of a great air fight sometime involving dozens of aircraft owners. But even if you don't plan on airdrop troops to, or use helicopters, it's recommended to call in at least one fighter to check how much um the opposite team is invested into aircraft yes if they don't call in a single plane this is the golden opportunity to make an airdrop with zero risk if they call in an undefended koga plane this is the three points for you that's that's very true that happened a lot as well we also uh, when we were playing games as you can see in a lot of my videos is like that if you're outnumbered and cannot call in more fighters, you can call in surface to air missiles to try to bait the enemy fighters to follow your planes to into a trap. Yes. Losing air support at the beginning of the match is also not the end of the world. Nope, it's not. As long as you make sure that your opponents didn't gain it for free. Yep. Um, they have gained possi um, possibility to airdrop troops and use helicopters freely for a few minutes while preventing you from doing so. But the pl their planes will have to refuel at the same point and consistently keeping 10 fighters in the, in the air is the waste of resources. So you will have the opportunity to consist the airplanes again after a few minutes. Yes, 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 yes. That's all for today. See you next week with a new Russian specialization. All right, so that's the air specialization. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty much the same as the, um, the first beta, but whoever didn't pay, play the first beta, you know, that's the air specialization pretty much. It's a bit uh, very, very different towards the last one. And it's actually very, very good. So, if you like the video, please like it. Please subscribe. Be much appreciated. Also, check out the links in the description. I'll be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Bye.